Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from Seaham in the northeast of England. Let's go and take a look around. After the very wet and windy weather of late, we couldn't miss the opportunity to get the van out. We headed north up the A19 in the direction of Seaham. We take the turning, the same one you'd take for Dalton Park, and then do a right, heading in the direction of Seaham. We were heading for Nose's Point, which is just at the south side of Seaham. At the sign here, we make a right-hand turn, and we head down this lane now, which takes us to the car park. As you'll have noticed on the left-hand side there, there was some other parking places as well, depending on which way you want to walk. This car park's handier for getting down the beach and the one we were visiting today called Blast Beach. So let's get parked up now. There's quite a few places to park here. There's even a van doing coffee. How about that? It's free to park in the car park at Nose's Point, or it certainly was when we visited. Some really useful information on the sign here. Nose's Point nowhere else like it in britain the sea has created much here an ancient sea created the rock that has given us the rare and strikingly beautiful magnesian limestone grassland and its unique populations of plants and animals the sea has sculpted a majestic and rugged coastline with cliffs and sea stacks to rival any in the country for the wild beauty the sea has quickly cleaned up the beaches and has taken away much of the colliery waste tipped into it from Dorden Pit, which once stood where we are now. Sea life has returned in abundance. There's a sign just before we headed down on the beach, just reminding you not to come into contact with any of the pooled water around some of the mining waste. We headed down what's known locally as Billy Goat's Trail, which takes you down onto Blast Beach. It's a fairly steep descent and you'll need a decent pair of shoes or boots on to come down. Just be careful. If you take it easy, you shouldn't have any problems. There are some steps further along the beach that you can descend down to, which we go up later in this video. However, I'd imagine those would be fairly treacherous in bad weather as well. Some of the entrances to some of the caves and shafts have been sealed off, as you can see here. Gives you a bit more perspective there of how steep the hill is. Blast Beach is dog friendly, so Roxy enjoyed a walk along there. And there were a number of people out with the dogs. The area is featured in a number of films and documentaries and Blast Beach in particular was used in the 1992 film Alien 3 because of its black sand and it felt fairly alien. It was also used in the Netflix's Last Kingdom from season 2. It was a lovely walk along the beach. After we headed down Billy Goat's trail we then headed along the beach towards the steps at the other end which we were going to ascend and then head back along to the car park. For January the weather was lovely. Hello Rachel! Roxy really enjoys a walk along the beach, as did we. Mm -hmm. 
Let's take another look around Blast Beach before we head up the steps. That stone arrangement looks like it says something. We'll now head up the steps back onto the cliff top so that we can make our way back along to the car park. Ah, we can now see what those stones say. Donna marry me. I wonder what she said. That's us at the top of the steps. There's plenty of England coastline path that you can follow further along if you wish to do so. Today we're going to actually head back down towards the car park, just along the track here. There's some beautiful views out to see and along the cliff line from up here. Roxy's certainly keen here. See the National Trust Blast Beach sign. She probably gathered Blast Beach is in the care of National Trust. At its peak, the former mine here produced over a million tonnes of coal per year. Construction of the colliery began in the early 1900s and the colliery opened for production in October 1907. The colliery eventually closed in July 1991. Over the past two decades, the Durham coastline's been transformed from industrial waste piled beaches and cliffs with old mine workings on are all now a thing of the past. Durham's beaches stretch from Sunderland in the north to Hartlepool in the south and the entire length has seen a massive transformation. We're back at the car park now after a lovely walk along the beach. Looked like a few camper vans and motorhomes had settled in for the night. That was Nose's Point and Blast Beach and a lovely walk along the beach. It's great that it's free parking there too and that dogs are allowed on the beach. We'll now take a drive through Seam on our way back. There's a shopping outlet just coming up on the left hand side there. You can see Asda and B&M bargains. There's a home bargains and a Costa too. Some fish and chip shops and ice cream shops and various other shops along here. There's Tommy the Statue of the Soldier on the right hand side. Definitely worth a visit and coming and having a look around in and see them. There's some more parking coming up on the right hand side there. It did look very busy though. And there's Seam Hall at this end of the town. We're just coming up to Seam Hall Beach and North Beach Car Park. That was a whistle stop tour as we drove through Seam there. We're now heading back towards the A19. Uh, rather than going back the way we came, we just go in a slightly different way and we come out back on the A19 here. So Rachel, what did you think of Seam and Nose's Point? It's been brilliant. Sun's out, Roxy's been in the sea, couldn't ask for more. What about you? Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? We've definitely come back here, definitely worth a trip. Notice quite a few people had stayed overnight as well. So worth checking that out if that's your thing. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.